Alright, so for today, I just would like to share to you guys about how to calculate the sample size for a pre-experimental study or a quasi-experiment with one group pre-test, post-test. So there is no comparison group, no control group. So what we do, first we open G power and then we check test family here and then we're gonna check t test and what we find here we're gonna choose mean difference between two dependent means much pairs all right so for the type of power analysis we choose priority of course because we want to compute core sample size and here for the tails one or two we of course uh, in our hypothesis, we check it out whether we would like to know that the score in the post-test will be less than or higher than the score in a pre-test. If this is the hypothesis, so we use two tails, okay? And for the effect size, of course, you need to check from a previous study so of course it depends on your previous study how much that you calculate so let's say i'm gonna make it like 0 0.5 and for the alpha error so the same 0 0.05 and then for the power uh, yeah usually we use 0 0.8 or higher than that so in this parameter how many sample size that we can get so for the total sample size is 34 with actual power 0 0.18 so if your effect size let's say it less than 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 so I'm sure it'll be higher see total sample size 90 but if your effect size let's say is 0 0.8 so will be less than that only 15 sample size so this is for the pre-experimental study or quasi-experiment with one group pre-test, post-test. So, maybe just that's all. Thank you guys for watching.